Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another video with this one my friends I'm gonna be testing the GeForce GTX 1660 Ti in Cyberpunk 2077 patch 1.5 with FSR This one is the Zotac Amp edition of the card We're running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers 511.79 at the time of recording this video I'm not manually overclocking the GPU but it comes already overclocked out of the box And you can check out all of its specs right here in Tech Power Ops GPU Z 6 gigabytes of GDDR6 We're running it with with a Ryzen 9 5900X and 32 gigabytes of uh, actually 16 gigabytes of RAM because I got the other 16 installed on the Ryzen 3 2200G PC which I will be testing probably tomorrow but yeah let's get right into it shall we all right let's go for the settings first we're playing at the 1080p resolution and we're also gonna test this one at 1440p as well as 4k uh, 4k is just for fun you know <laughs> I just want to see if it's gonna be playable using FSR and how it will look as well uh, over on the ground Graphic settings, we're playing using the medium settings preset and high textures. The textures on high don't really consume that much VRAM, so you're fine leaving them on high with 6 gigabytes. FSR is turned off at the moment. Gameplay settings are set to these right here. And it seems like it is looking pretty damn good here at 1080p medium settings. Native resolution, we're getting above 60 FPS. Actually, well above 60 FPS. I, I expected it to drop a bit here, not gonna lie. Um, but, however, if you get into very intensive areas, like the one that we're approaching right now, yeah, it does drop from 60, as expected. So, it's not really by much, honestly. I, I really expected it to be in the 50s here, yet we're seeing like 60s, lower 60s, mid 60s. This is a pretty intensive area, and uh, it's pretty surprising to me that the 1660 Ti is performing this well. I'm also glad to see that the stutters in this game are no more. And if you're wondering, you should be getting the same FPS if you pair this card with like a Ryzen 5 3600 or 9 5 10 400 f so you don't really need a very beefy cpu to get the most out of it you can see that the cpu utilization is not really that high on the 5900x and of course 16 gigabytes is plenty hello kind sir i'm just gonna put you to sleep okay yes you're sleeping now uh, and uh, let's get this car. This looks much better. So yeah, maybe get a thumbnail with this. No? <laughs> Alright, anyways, I think that's it for medium setting. 69 FPS on average right there. Beautiful stuff. It's super playable and honestly, if there wasn't FSR now in this game, I would probably stick to the medium settings at 1080p because, again, it looks great and it performs pretty damn well. Now, FSR set to ultra quality. We're getting closer to a hundred. Oh my gosh, it was in the 90s right there, but what a massive improvement here in FPS and the visuals still look pretty damn good. You can tell that there is a little bit more aliasing around some edges, like those lights for example, um, but it doesn't look bad whatsoever. It, it, it in, in a 1080p monitor, guys, I think it would look pretty close to native 1080p resolution. So feel free to use FSR in this game. I really recommend it. Uh, of course, I've already seen it, the, the, the goodness that this makes with the 1050 Ti. It went from unplayable at 1080p low and drops below uh, 30 FPS to completely playable <laughs> at like 40 frames per second or so. Yeah, this is pretty damn good, guys. I love this technology by AMD. And uh, this is also a pretty intensive uh, street right here. It's only dropping into the 70s. Wow. Okay, so if you're looking for that 60 plus FPS experience all of the time with the 1660 Ti in Cyberpunk 2077, with still pretty decent graphics, you can have it using FSR Ultra Quality. Jeez. Okay. All right. Yeah, this is pretty good to know, guys. It is really, really nice. This is a game changer, basically, in this game. Uh, we should be able to, to play on high settings at 1080p, honestly, and uh, still maintain 60 plus using some FSR, of course. So still set to ultra quality right there. And I'm just going to disable motion blur here. Okay, so this is high settings at ultra quality FSR. Let's just uh, ride around or drive right. <laughs> this is not Red Dead Redemption 2, Crisp. <laughs> this is not Roach, unfortunately. Or maybe it is a futuristic Roach. I, I don't know. <laughs> Look at this. It's looking gorgeous, guys. This game is really fantastic when it comes to the looks. Also, you get out, get out, get out. Okay. Um, also, you don't need to restart the game to fully apply the settings in this one, which is 
very nice for us benchmarkers out there. And look at this. It is still really good on high settings. Did I say 1440p before? Maybe I did. But yeah, I meant high settings, of course. <laughs> oh boy, people, the, the police are shooting at me already. And uh, I just, okay, get out, get out, people. Okay, just want to see if it drops here. I, I don't think it did, right? So you can still achieve 60 plus at high settings with FSR ultra quality in this game at 1080p resolution. So I, I guess these are like the, the um, go-to settings for a 1660 Ti, right? If we disable FSR just for a little bit, just, I'm just curious to see how many frames we'd get uh, disabled. Uh, yeah, we're already in the 50s at times. Yeah, we're getting 60, very close to 60 frames per second, and this isn't really a demanding area. If I went to a very intensive area like the other one that we were seeing before, it would probably drop into the lower 50s here on high settings. Still a pretty playable experience, don't get me wrong, especially for a single player title, but I mean, if I can have 60 plus all of the time with a very minor decrease in image quality, I will take it. It's, it's much smoother than, than 50 frames, so yeah. Let's stop it right there. What about the ultra settings? Without motion blur, of course. And uh, first of all, let's see how many FPS we can get without. Oh my God, this is really, int it's probably still loading something. Wait a second. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that was definitely the case. All right, I'm glad. So yeah, ultra quality settings are pretty intensive. As you can see, it drops into the 30s even. It's not that it's unplayable, once again, I could play the game like this and the 1050 Ti, for example, with these FPS was completely playable and medium settings using FSR, but we've already seen, oh boy, okay, uh, that uh, you can have a much better experience here. So uh, yeah, why not take the better experience, right? So let's stop right here, uh, look in that direction, for example, getting 50 frames per second or 51. And now let's enable FSR on ultra quality and see the magic. Okay, whoa, dude, this is insane. Going from 50 FPS to 70, it's completely game changer. Once again, I keep saying this, but it's true. It still drops from 60, as you can see, very much actually, into the lower 50s. Oh, stutter right there. It's the first one of the day, so probably just a one-off. But uh, yeah, let's go back there to the more intensive area. And uh, well, honestly, guys, I don't feel the need to play this game on ultra settings. I just set it to high and... Uh, use some FSR, lock the FPS to 60 maybe for a more consistent experience and have fun like that because it, it really, really feels amazing on high settings in 60 frames per second with FSR, of course. What about ray tracing, though? It's probably a very bad idea, right? <laughs> Even with FSR, but let's turn off FSR first because I remember getting like 10 or, or 5 FPS with this card with using ray tracing. <laughs> It still is pretty much the same. Maybe it's still loading. Wait a second. <laughs> yeah, it was still loading. So it, it gets like 10, 11 frames. The lighting is noticeably better uh, in some areas, you know, but it, I mean, would you? No, of course not. Nobody would do this in their right minds. What about FSR? Could it save this little card uh, using ray tracing? Because DLSS saves cards like the, the 3050, for example. But no, uh, it does give us like 70% more FPS or 50% more FPS, which is an insane amount of frames for, for a single setting, you know? Uh, but no, oh boy, oh boy, they are after me with 15 FPS. It's not good, it's not good. These are not the ultra ray tracing uh, settings even, so. All right, oh, okay, I can't really drive like this. I can't, I, yeah, let's stop it, okay? <laughs> let's go back to like medium settings here, disable FSR, set it to 1440p resolution for a little bit. Okay, who massive difference comparing to 1080p resolution, right? We lost like, at 20 frames per second, going from 1080p medium to 1440p medium. That's that's a pretty big deal, you know? It's still playable like this, but maybe low settings is adequate for the 1440p res at the uh, using the, the 1660 Ti. Looking at the performance right here, it's not terrible, honestly. 
I've seen much worse, obviously. Like, especially after seeing the 1030, even 30 frames per second is good. <laughs> uh, oh boy, people, please, what are you doing? What are you doing? You see that I'm benchmarking, you know? I can't really pay attention to everything while I'm benchmarking. <sighs> I could uh, pay a little bit more attention, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to improve on that. <laughs> oh boy, god damn it. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it gets 40s basically. In less intensive areas, it's probably gonna go up by a little bit into the 50s, but certainly not like 60 FPS. FSR, however, wow, again, makes a huge difference, guys. All right, it's still not as smooth as like 1080p native. Yeah, looking at it over here, 50s. It's not great, you know, but it is still pretty good. Again, 1440p is way more intensive than 1080p. And the fact that we're getting these FPS is absolutely great. We went from 40 frames to 60 on average, almost. Also, if you slightly overclock this card, you're going to get like three or four more FPS. So it's going to be above 60 more often than not, which is great. What about this intensive street right here? 50s. Yeah. I also, I know that there is a built-in benchmark in the game right now. I just don't really like to use built-in benchmarks because what would my commentary be using built-in benchmarks, right? It would be boring as heck. <laughs> Anyways, this is it. Pretty good results in my opinion. Although... Maybe you should play on like low settings if you're playing at 1440p, ultra quality FSR. Yeah, that is if you want more than 60 all of the time, of course, because I would honestly take the better visuals coming from medium uh, than the 60 plus FPS experience coming from low. It looks considerably better on medium, in my opinion, and it might still drop here. Uh, maybe not, yeah, no, it's not gonna drop on low. So if you must have a 1440p, 60 plus FPS experience, this is the way to go. What if we disable FSR for a little bit here? Just take a look. Yeah, it does drop. So you definitely need FSR if you want 60 plus at 1440p, even on the low settings. What about high settings at 1440p? No motion blur and also no fidelity effects super resolution for now. It's applying, it's applying now. Wait a second. Oh God. And we get 30s. Ooh, this is super intensive compared to what we've seen before. Oh boy, it will probably drop. Yes, 29 there. So it's not good anymore, I believe. I would drop a... God damn it, okay. Also, explosions aren't really intensive, as you could see. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you slightly overclock this card, I guess you, you can have 30 plus all of the time on high or a locked 30 FPS experience, you know, if you just lock the FPS to 30, it will feel okay, like last gen consoles, but 1660 Ti, I would want a little bit better of an experience than the last gen consoles, especially in this game. And you do get that in terms of visuals, of course, I'm just talking about frame rates here. Now, FSR ultra quality on high settings, and uh, we're getting higher 40s or mid 40s around here. It's pretty damn good now. Wow. What a massive difference. Once again, it's like 50% more FPS that you get by enabling FSR. And the, the render resolution is not really that much lower than your native resolution. And it, it looks really great. It looks really detailed still at 1440p. So definitely use some FSR with this card here. You can even play on high settings 1440p if you don't mind less than 60. 60 frames, it actually reaches 60 sometimes in less intensive areas. This is great actually, this, it's not too bad. 3840 by 2160, low settings, no FSR for now, just to see how it performs like this. Let's wait a little bit for everything to apply. And we're getting like 20s here, this is pretty bad. It's more intensive. <laughs> Then um, 1440p Ultra with FSR using 4K resolution on low. This is, yeah, it's terrible, basically. Not really playable, honestly, guys. Let's uh, enable this on ultra quality. And it is looking really good. I am also using a native 4K monitor right now. I can definitely tell you that it looks pretty impressive, this upscaling tech from AMD. Looking really sharp and detailed still. God 
damn it, just leave me alone! Leave me the heck alone! Stop doing that! Oh boy, this car is also gonna explode. Yep, it's on fire already! Ah! You killed yourselves as well! The explosion was so close to you! Okay, anyways, in terms of visuals, it looks good, but it's still low settings. Although it looks sharp and detailed. Uh, there is no point, really, in playing at 4K, in my opinion. And you do get way less than 60 FPS, and you get even into the... Um, 30, so it's not very good. Quality FSR, well, it's starting to look a little bit closer to 1440p, but I can tell that it's still a little bit better, though. Yeah, I can see some fuzziness now in the palm tree right there, though, but it's not really major, honestly. It doesn't drop into the 30s anymore, though, but eh, I mean, what's the point, really? I'm just curious here. <laughs> you shouldn't really play at 4K, at least these games. There are some games that will play very well at 4K with the 1660 Ti, uh, but Cyberpunk is just a really intensive title, obviously. Now we're getting 50s. It seems like we get like 5 to 10 more FPS every time we drop a, an FSR setting. Which is pretty impressive, honestly. It still looks okay like this, although I can definitely tell that it's not at native resolution right now, but it's not very far off, honestly. It looks alright. I could still play like this perfectly fine. Um, though you can see some aliasing sometimes, especially if you move the camera around. Well, let's do performance FSR here. It starts looking a bit soft. Yeah, now the palm tree is a bit weird. And even the palm tree closer to us looks bad. Uh, still low settings as well, but finally we can get 60 plus at 4K resolution. This is what it takes if you want a 60 FPS experience at this insanely high res. Um, it still drops, by the way. We could see like 58 there for a second. But it's not too bad. I mean, it's mostly going to be a 60 plus FPS experience here, which is pretty great, but again, this is nowhere near 4K visual fidelity anymore, so... Yeah. I wouldn't do this, obviously. Just for fun, ultra performance. How does it look? Ooh, pretty soft right now. It's pretty soft. I don't like this. I wouldn't do this <laughs> with any cards. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's just no point. Yeah, unless you really want to be competitive, I guess, in Cyberpunk. <laughs> Lastly, just for fun, I want to see like high settings here with um, balanced FSR because it still looks pretty good. And if you play with a controller and lock your FPS to 30, it could actually be a playable experience here. Look at this, 40s. Although it kind of looks the same as 1440p, honestly. <laughs> pretty close to that, so it's, it's basically the same thing as dropping the resolution in this one. Yeah, apparently it doesn't drop from 30 even here. Honestly, the motion blur is not looking too bad at these lower frame rates. So it could be a possibility to make everything feel a little bit smoother. Uh, but yeah, that's been it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one very soon. And as always, love you all. Bye-bye.